born into or easily acquire a home that suits their needs. Many reside upon the surface. Others dwell in deep waters. Some even prefer to live in a fiery pit. But all beings, large and small, understand the importance of having a home they can call their own. Wow, this place is great! Damp, but not too damp. Practically no natural light. And it was built just 93 years ago? <gasps> My goodness, it's brand new! Mana concentration is lovely. And three baths, too. <laughs> That's a big plus for me. Ooh, it says here it comes equipped with a system that prevents overflow on rainy days. Hallways are a bit narrow, but that's not a deal breaker for us slimes. Oh, look, babe! There's so much storage space! We'll finally have enough room to display our mana stones. Check this out. I'm thinking we could use these nooks for beds. That way, no one will step on us when we're napping ever again. We're trying to get away from it all, right, honey? <laughs> that's true. This one certainly has charm. And with all these rooms, it'll be good for starting a family. Oh, darling, really? Thank you for touring the property. Oh, no, thank you, sir. So, how are we feeling about this place? You are right on the money. It's a perfect fit for us. That's great to hear. Now then, if you purchase today, you'll find that the previous owner's camouflage spell is still under contract, which means that the entrance to your home will stay hidden for another two years at no cost to you. <gasps> Did you hear that, honey? We have to buy this place! Yeah, it's perfect. We'll take it. Thank you very much. Oh, we were lucky to find it on such short notice, too. The thing is, unfortunately, our previous home got featured in a popular hero magazine. Before we knew it, the place was crawling with them, so we had to move out. I'm sorry that happened to you. This cave has several safety features, such as hero deterring traps and emergency escape routes, so you can have comfort as well as peace of mind. Thanks a million, sir. It's nice to have somewhere to call home. Now, if we were a couple of big, powerful dragons, we would never have to worry about surviving this harsh world on our own. Where did that come from, sweetheart? No, I'm just being silly, honey. You know, I'm not so sure that's true. I can't believe I got disowned. I fell asleep when I was supposed to be watching our egg, and a hunter walked right out with it. I tried to get it back, but I went home empty clawed. Guarding one egg was too much for you to handle, huh? You are an absolute disgrace to all dragon kind. Do you understand me? Shameful. <laughs> It's not gone forever. It'll respawn when we switch the map, so... Do you think this is a video game? Dragons are noble creatures. Which means we're supposed to be bold and brave. If you want to be called my son, then you must learn to live on your own. <laughs> my whole family abandoned me. Okay. What do I do? Um... Somebody help! Anybody? Oh, wait, if a hunter finds me out here. Oh, it's so tasty. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'll get eaten. Well, I mean, I realize I'm a dragon. But let's see. I've got three strength, point three agility, eight defense, five stamina, and a negative seven for luck. How can I survive with stats like that? <laughs> why did I have to be born a dragon? And what kind of dragon has lame stats in a goofy ID photo? <laughs> I guess I'll only ever be bold and brave in my dreams. I'll probably just wind up as someone's cool-looking gear someday. That might be okay. I just need to find a nest to hide until then. Wait. <gasps> I get it now! The Tale of the Three Little Trolls Once upon a time, 
There lived a trio of tiny, helpless little trolls. Their extreme weakness made them a trash mob, but they worked together to build an impenetrable fortress. There they lived happily ever after, with no fear at all of being murdered in their sleep. I need that! Mm -hmm. If I want to survive out here, then I've got to find a safe nest I can live in. <sighs> here I go. My search begins today. Home sweet home awaits! Here. So 
So flap your wings and fly with us. I would, but I haven't unlocked the fly action yet. Huh? Uh? Then what are those two giant wings for? Uh, I did it. We believe in you, sweetie pie. The little dragon that could. The you can do this. You just have to fly across in a nice straight line. Okay. Now, beat those beautiful wings and take flight!
Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right spot. Look, a dragon! Oh crap, I think the hunters found me! Stop right there, foul beast! It would seem that your good luck has run out, Avast! With the might of our hero powers, we've come to purge this land of your unclean soul! So, where are the hidden cameras? This isn't a television show, you accursed fiend! We're heroes! Here to slay thee! Who? You idiot! Wait, you're gonna slay me? Do you see anyone else here? Jeez, relax, would you? But why? I mean, it's not like you guys are hunters, right? We're heroes! Hero. One who performs heroics. You go around calling yourselves heroes? Of course, what's wrong with that? I don't know. It's just a little cringy. Speak plainly, dragon! It's one thing if somebody else calls you a hero, but if you say it... It's a job title, you idiot! Oh, wow. So do you guys work at the hero store, or what? You know what? I don't have time for this. I won't mince words with an agent of darkness! It sure seemed like you had time to me. Enough! I'll silence you for good! Huh? Ah! himself with the tribulations of others, just his own will. Really? That's kind of messed up! Slaying a dragon would bring us glory above all other heroes. Thus, you shall draw your last breath this day. What a bunch of greedy jerks! There is no safe place for scum like you. You're nothing more than a monster who deserves to rot in the pits of hell! Uh, somebody help! <laughs> My, my. That creature is quite weak. You ought to be kinder. All right, keep dealing that damage. Oh, don't tell me that's him. <laughs> Demon, what? <laughs> over there, my friend. Oh, my. Hello? Now, this is quite an unusual sight. Where is it you come from, if I may ask? I don't know. What? But I just want to go home. And that was how I met Mr. Diaria. I'd only just gotten kicked out of my family's home. But I was already off on a great house hunting adventure. So, are you lost? Now that he's been evicted, cast out into a cold, uncaring world, will our weak little dragon be able to find the peaceful abode of his dream? Sir, 
Someone told me that I would find an elf gentleman around here who's a really good architect. That's why you've come. My, that certainly is a coincidence. Hmm? I am that self-same elf. Please call me Diaria. Hello? Are you still with me? Well, that's quite troublesome. Mm, I need place to live! Oh yes, I'd be happy to. Mm. Now then, you basically have three options. You can build a home, you can also purchase an existing residence, or you have the choice of renting from an owner. Oh, I haven't decided that yet. All right. Well, I'm highly qualified as both an architect and a real estate agent, so I'm up for anything. So cool! Here, take my card. Ooh, so classy. Uh, let's take a look here. Wait, you're a demon lord? Ah, yes, that too. I'm quite versatile. So he's like a demon lord of real estate? You're awesome. I'm so glad I met you. First off, it would be helpful if you could describe to me what sort of a home you might be interested in having. Sure. Um, I think... I want to live in a cute and cozy little cottage. I'm not sure a cottage could accommodate your size. I fully intend to respect your wishes, but a simple design such as this one leaves a lot to be desired in terms of security. If heroes invaded, you'd be done for. Heroes? Are you telling me there are even more of those bullies out there? Oh, they're everywhere. And yes, they're all that ridiculous. Do they have to be so cringy? While hunters concern themselves with catching non-human targets, <laughs> heroes tend to be bloodthirsty killing machines. They steal, pillage, and sometimes they may even take part in political coups. It would take a whole day to try and list off all their crimes. Oh well. I don't suppose a lecture about heroes is terribly relevant. So, shall we commence with a tour? What are we going to tour exactly? Oh, just a dwelling. It's something that heroes might call a dungeon. Perhaps you can call it home. What's that say? seven-year-old structure that's been designed to resemble the temples of ancient times. Hold on a second. How did we get here? With a rudimentary teleportation spell. This place was designed for powerful inhabitants and features multiple hero-proofing measures. The owner only recently made the decision to sell the place. If you find it to your liking, you'll need to make an offer quickly. I don't know. It seems like it's way too big for me. Dragons require larger spaces. <sighs> this is an awful lot of house for just little old me, you know? I would suggest that you watch where you step, Letty. If you activate a trap, there's a chance you may die. I suppose I should have mentioned that before. It's a dungeon with anti-hero traps. There are four levels total. The topmost floor is above ground, and the other three are located below the surface. And in order to protect the living quarters at the top, the rest of the structure has been optimized with traps to drop any would-be intruders further and further underground. <laughs> Most heroes who've entered this home have died violently within. But since we're here, perhaps we should explore the dungeon for a bit. Or we could leave. Oh. But I'm quite proficient at resurrection spells. Yeah, I prefer not dying, thanks. First, we must open this door. If you simply place the correct shape into this depression... Oh, sweet. This'll be easy. There's a chance you may die. Yeah, right. He's trying to trap me again. Well, I'm smarter than that. Hope 
lady in my tail. You baffle me. Did I not tell you to light them in the correct order? You're such a jerk! Let's take a look at the third basement. Uh, hold on a second, Diaria! so quickly though that last drop was a surprise hey listen do you think we can take a breather please i agree a break is in order luckily there's a healing spring right here <sighs> this is awesome but couldn't a hero use it to heal their injuries too i wouldn't worry the sensors pick up on any unfamiliar entities and flush them away Wait, what? Huh? Ah! This me! Oh. Well, what did you think? So that's how dead goldfish feel. <gasps> Where does that drink go? You'll find certain questions in life are best left unanswered. Yikes! So those are all of the anti-hero safety features covered. Now for the obstacle course to get back up top. Give it your best try. Really? Better than going back the way we came, though. All right. Here I go. <sighs> One question. Uh-huh? Are you choosing not to fly out of modesty? Yeah, modesty. Don't look down. 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 Ugh, it's way to the exit. Don't look down. Hey guys, take a look up there! That's a dragon! It's scaling the wall! Oh sweet! Rare mats for days! Don't let it get away! Leave it to me! Stop right there. You will not interfere with his climb. Who is this guy? Why is an elf here? Don't know, don't care. Let's take him down. That'll show you. <gasps> say I'm very impressed. Wow, that means so much. Shall we sign the papers? Thanks, but no thanks. Sorry, I just don't think I could live in a house that's designed to kill me. After that tour, poor Letty's muscles were sore for days on end. excited about seeing the next property then it doesn't have any traps that's good to hear so what's it like let me see uh, how do i put it heroes will never bother you there <laughs> it's the perfect bachelor pad <laughs> i'm certain that if you moved in you'd never feel lonely again wow that's totally perfect for me despite having been built over 200 years ago the place still has plenty of life left in it it does need repairs, though. That's fine. I just want to go check it out. You know, I gotta admit, it looks a little haunted to 
me. It is haunted. Okay, next house. Don't be hasty. <laughs> At least take a brief tour before you write it on you. certain defects. The seller is required to make the buyer aware of them. Okay, and being haunted is one of those things, right? Correct. Also... Also? Everyone has to die sometime. Wait! Huh? Oh, and exorcisms won't work. Uh... Now, I'd like you to get a sense of the place. So we'll both be staying the night here. <laughs> I went ahead and took the liberty of preparing a bed for you. Oh, and here. Please use this vacuum cleaner if you run into any trouble. Uh, sorry, what do you mean, run into trouble? You simply press R to activate the strobe bulb. The what? You're also going to need this ink ribbon, as well as this typewriter. How are those gonna help me? Just look it up. I'm so confused! Great. No match. I wish I had a lamp. Oh, and Letty, I'll be staying in the next room over if you need something. Oh, hey, don't leave! Sweet dreams. <laughs> How am I supposed to have sweet dreams in here? Please stay with me. I neglected to give you something. These are healing items. Could you please knock next time? <laughs> It's so dark and scary. Come on, son. Hurry up and rise already. Huh? It was just a painting. It startled me. No, not just a painting! Here is the owner. 
This property belongs to Lord Samuel. He was the one who reigned over these lands nearly 200 years ago. When I told him that I would be bringing you to look at the property, he pulled out all the stops to make it a fun experience. These spirits are his loyal retainers. They wanted to organize a little scare for your enjoyment. You would have preferred a gift basket. This place would make a lovely home. It's prime real estate. Not to be rude, but I don't really get what's prime here. The lack of heroes, for starters. The artifacts in here are of no value to them, so they don't bother approaching. The coins are worthless, the potions are expired, and the swords and other weapons are all broken. Besides, wraiths and ghouls never drop anything valuable when they're killed, so it would be foolish for a hero to waste their time trying to get in. And then, secondly, the ghosts constantly keep a vigilant watch over the entire property, so you'll never have to worry about security or being lonely. Ah, uh, that's really creepy. Hmm. Well, I can always rally my retainers and leave, if that suits you more. Uh, you don't have to. Oh, it's quite all right. We'll stay in our graves in the backyard, and you can simply let us know whenever you need us. Great! There's a graveyard, too? And there's also a special. Well, what does that mean? If you purchase today, all the ghouls who are squatting here will remain. Bone Buddies! still flowed in my veins. You traveled with a different dragon, yes? That's correct. I'd say that's probably why I have a bit of a soft spot for dragons. <laughs> a demon lord with a soft spot. Um, Diaria? A little help over here? Oh, goodness. Give me just a moment, please. where it's easier for me to relax. And I can't really do that with dead people around, so... That's perfectly understandable. I'll search for houses that the dead wouldn't dare. Maybe try somewhere that the living would want to haunt instead. <laughs> Your mansion's nice and all, but it's not for me. No, it's all right. Everyone deserves to find a home that's right for them. Well, goodbye. Oh, and Sir Dragon? Hmm? Travel safely. by a close friend and driven away from his own lands. He and his hundred retainers committed suicide. They were then reborn as wraiths who terrorized and slaughtered everyone who lived there. But inspirational. Letty decided he didn't care for wraiths. I'm too scared to get up and pee. tour plan. But first, let's make a brief stop elsewhere. Yeah, that's cool. So where do you want to stop? The cavern of the aged crone. Oh. That sounds like a really scary place. Worry not. I merely need to return the bed they provided for you. Return it? Wait, does that mean we have to go back to get it too? Actually, I brought it with me. Huh? But that thing was huge. It's here in this bag. These little things are an utter must for adventuring. They can carry any item, regardless of its size. So it's a bag of... Just a bag. Do they run their showroom from inside this cave? Indeed. These fine ladies have been doing business here for about a thousand years now. <laughs> Missed you, dearie boy. Finally come to make honest women out of his head. 
something like that right now. That's fine. When you consider the total value of your organs and material drops, you're worth a great deal. But I can't live anywhere if I'm dead! Relax, I was kidding. How much money do you have on hand, if I may ask? Let's see, hold on a second. Let me get my wallet real quick. Of course, dragons like to keep things behind their inverted scales. 
Yeah, it's a super convenient place to hide your valuables. Which is why we don't like it when people try to touch us there, you know? And we're always being hunted, so it would be hard to lug a bag around all the time. True. Is that a tooth? Yep, one of my baby teeth. Huh. I held on to them just in case. Because I heard a legend about a nice fairy who comes and turns them into money if you put them under your pillow at night. I hate to tell you this, but that's merely fantasy. <gasps> Holding on to your baby teeth won't earn you any money, sadly. Okay, then. I guess I'm broke. Fortunately, dragon teeth do sell for a high price. Yeah? That being said, adult teeth are far more valuable. <laughs> it's all right. The money problem will solve itself. What do you mean by that? That will be clear soon enough. Now, since I have an idea of your tastes and desires, I've taken the liberty of designing the space inside and out. This is the living area. There's the fireplace. The kitchen is over here. Wow, I love it, Diaria! Then I say we should commence with the construction immediately. Everyone, gather round, please. I've called upon my employees. You see, gnomes are highly skilled in construction. And the ogres, they can assist us with all the heavy lifting. Oh, but before any of that, a Shinto groundbreaking service. Oh, uh, no thank you, I'm not religious. Then would a human sacrifice suffice? Can we not? Be careful on the job, everyone. This works out. <laughs> this whole thing is so exciting. <gasps> uh, I'm sorry about that, sir. I better watch it. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. You can leave that right over there for now. Diaria? Hmm? Do you think there's anything that I can help out with? I can't handle any heavy lifting, and I don't exactly have any special skills. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I just answered my own question. Don't be so hard on yourself, Letty. If you'd like, you can assist the gnomes with fireproofing the lumber. Sweet! I'm on it! someone yeah a whole lot of someone's actually i take it you lost they told me that my work was garbage and then they kicked my butt what are you up to diaria making quick lime mortar and what is that it's a kind of plaster that's extremely moist cool this one has been aged for 10 years so it's high quality I'm sorry, did you want to help? So much, yes! Do I just mix it? Yes, and then we'll add some aggregate to make mortar for the outer walls. Instead of gravel, we're going to use golem skirt. Oh, what's that do? It makes the walls sturdy. Ah, 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 no! I'm sorry. Apparently, we've created an exciting new breed of dragon here. Thanks. I appreciate it. Letty, we'll finish it in due time by working together.
choice but to smite them and sell their equipment. How else can we pay off all the building expenses? Oh, okay. So that's what you meant when you said the problem would solve itself. Oh, this is bad. There's no need to get yourself worked up. I've already enlisted a mighty team of brave warriors. They look scary. I'm surprised. It's quite spacious in here. We should be careful. Worry not, dear mage. It's not like something's gonna come kill us all at once. It's happened before. Look sharp, my friends. Stay close to me. The 
looks like you got a bunch of new underlings. <laughs> well, well, well. Come on, let's waste those heroes! <laughs> What should we do, sir? Chop them up. Can you just let them go? I got a fee for you, too. You don't have to come show it to me! Your Excellency, in honor of your kindness and compassion, we've composed an ode that tells of your righteous deeds! Hit it! <laughs> not good. <sighs> Letty. Hmm? Oh, Diaria. I just stopped by to see how you were settling in, but you weren't at home. Is there something the matter? I see. How stressful. Yeah. I understand that they're trying to be nice and all. I mean, I would like to open up my home to creatures who don't have anywhere else to go. But every time they call me Flame Dragon Lord, I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of pressure. And besides, if my home becomes everyone's favorite dungeon, then I'm going to have heroes all over the place. Hmm. Look, I just want safety. And peace and quiet. All right. Hmm? Then we'll simply have to find a home that fits the bill. Uh, no, I couldn't. I don't want to trouble you all over again. I have some experience. I helped my last dragon friend. It didn't take us long. A mere hundred years or so. You've got a weird concept of time. I'm an elf. To our kind, a century is but the twinkling of an eye. We encountered many obstacles. But the years we spent together were quite meaningful. So I appreciate your concern, Letty, but you needn't worry about me. <laughs> Not once have I considered your plight to be a burden. So please, let me help you find a lovely home. Take heart. Believe me, one day we'll find the perfect place. I feel bad leaving without saying anything. There's no need to fret over that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you can put your belongings in here. I've handled that part. Your farewell. I'm certain you'll be able to hold, hold down the fort for me. Be excellent to each other, always. So cool! See? They were positively honored to purchase the place from you. You made me sound that cool and they seriously bought it? Call me crazy, but I'm kind of sort of getting the feeling that you knew this would happen the whole time. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course not. Uh... Okay, well, if you weren't doing anything shady, then how come you didn't just tell me what you were up to from the start? I suppose I anticipated a few hiccups. However, I wasn't expecting there to be trouble of this magnitude. Aha! So you were expecting some trouble! It would seem that our weak little dragon's journey is set to continue. What is this place? Why would we ever visit the Tundra? Oh, I remember we're house hunting, duh. It's been a while since I visited this lot. It's a trifle cold. You're looking toasty and warm, though. I've taken the liberty of preparing winter wear for you, too. Wow, really? Though, admittedly, there weren't very many options available in your size. If it's insulated, then I'm happy. Okay, this is nice, but it's a little constrictive. Too flashy for my taste. Somehow I'm even colder now. Ah, 
This outfit is warm, and I can move my arms and legs around just fine. He resembles a crab croquette. So why did you bring us to the middle of a field of snow again? I know how much living in peace and quiet appeals to you. And as such, I thought this spot would be perfect. Plus, it's cheap and so isolated, heroes won't come around. You sure like to take things to the extreme, huh? Also, I don't see any houses around here. Correct. You'll huh? build your own. Right here. Seriously? This is for you. Huh? A shovel? Yes. The Yeti. A creature native to this extreme region. Wait, where'd this come from? Let's observe them in their natural habitat. They spend their lives roaming the tundra, hunting for sustenance. In this desolate land, blanketed in ice and snow year-round, the Yeti must remain nomadic to feed themselves and their young. It's a lifestyle in which building a permanent home is simply out of the question. So instead, the Yeti live in temporary dwellings, igloos they've built themselves. You'll construct your own home in a similar fashion. Use as much snow as you require. I have to do it! Since there are no security measures to consider, you should be able to manage the work yourself. Cost of construction? That's zero. It's free materials. You can build the home of your dreams on some of the cheapest land available. And all it'll take is a little hard work on your part. You do know how sketchy you just made this sound, right? The lot stretches before you, out to those far mountains. Build wherever you like. Oh, that? As I said, the land is cheap. Well, it's time to get to work building your igloo. I guess... here's good. Start by compressing the snow with your feet. You're looking for a patch with the right hardness and density. This snow is suitable for our purposes. Now, on to the next step. Create blocks out of snow and stack them up in a circular configuration. Fill any gaps with extra snow. The smaller you build it, the warmer it will be. Got it! The three rooms you'll need are the main room, a storage area, and finally the entryway. The main room should always end up being a step higher than the rest of the rooms. You'll want to hang seal pelts on the walls throughout that area. Because those will help insulate us from the cold. The weather's cleared up. Left, Yaria! I finished it! Excellent work. Oh, shucks. <laughs> now for the inconvenient matter of living here. Huh? As I had mentioned to you earlier, this location is extremely remote. But plainly, not dying can prove to be quite the challenging endeavor. In fact, you should experience that yourself. Why don't you try to survive here for the next three uh, days? Take care not to freeze to death now. Not another training arc! Hey, wait! Is there some place maybe a little less rugged I could live? This will build character. But I have plenty! I will check on you in three days' time. Best of luck. No! Wait! I should gather some firewood. <clears throat> well, so far, this isn't too terrible. Hmm? Oh, three reindeer. If I can catch them, I can eat them. But what's the best method? trying to hunt. I've always gotten meat from the butcher. I should head back to the igloo soon. The weather isn't making this any easier. Hello, house? Where are you? I can't see anything in 
about this. It's a total whiteout. There's something big and scary behind me, isn't there? Dragon. Oh, good, you're awake. Are you feeling all right, friend? I think. Can you stand? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Hi there, Davy Jones is the name. And you are? Uh, my name is Letty. That's a pleasure. Oh, yeah, likewise, sir. Let's see. I got lost in a terrible snowstorm, then ended up adrift on an ice floe. But how did I. inside that whale right now. <laughs> oh no! This is how I go! Digested by a giant whale! It's tragic! The Bible world! Hey, calm down. <laughs> Enough! Jeez, you sure aren't a scaredy cat for someone so big. But I'll die. Come along. There's something I'd like to show you. Come in. Wait, really? He'll be just fine. Come. <clears throat> oh. That's my room. Look around. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Oh, it's so squishy. Care for some tea? Wait, 
How'd you get tea? We're inside of a whale. <laughs> it swallowed a few boxes that fell off a sinking ship. Oh. And that's not all. We have gems, cutlery, cooking ingredients, even gunpowder. Wow, thank you. Boy, I sure didn't expect it to be so warm in here. A bit stuffy, but really not too bad. Aye. The water outside might be frigid, but it's pleasant inside. Winters are warm, and summers are cool. Huh. Plus, heroes never come a-calling. That's a relief. Just wish we could do something about the smell. I wonder... What were you doing in the middle of the ocean, anyway? Oh, that... Sounds rough. Looking for the perfect home. Guess even dragons can be picky on some occasions. Yeah... How'd you like to take a tour? Maybe get some fresh ideas? You wouldn't mind? Nah, come uh, along. Here is the laundry room. Oh, cool. What is that thing? Washing machine. A what? You put dirty clothes in, and it washes them clean on its own. But how? Oh, where'd that noise come from? That's the whale song. The vibration it creates cleans all of the dirt and gunk off of the clothes. Impressive. Ultrasonic cleaning. This room for the clothes are dry. Just watch. Okay, uh, watch what? <laughs> it's a massive wind tunnel formed whenever the whale breathes. That air dries the wet clothes almost instantaneously. Ah, probably makes them stink, too. This right here is fuel storage. I can use drippings of the whale's fat to cook food, light all the lamps, and even make soap for bath time. Cool! Not to mention, it also helps the whale shed a couple of pounds. That might be too much information. And this is the kitchen. Check out these fresh fish also swallowed by the whale. A whole boatful. Ah, oh, fantastic! I'll cook a feast for the ages. Wow, really? Because I'm pretty hungry. Ah, thank you so much for the meal. Thanks for tidying up. The bath is ready for you whenever you want it. Whoa, you mean this place has a bathtub too? Ah, a tad lukewarm. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but also feels nice. <laughs> One should never look a gift horse in the mouth, Letty. The whale's body heats it. So, what do you say? Want to stay here with me for a while? Oh, no! I wouldn't want to intrude on you! You're more than welcome. I'm glad to have someone around. Think it over. <sighs> that Mr. Jones is such a nice guy. He fed me and gave me a nice, warm, squishy bed to sleep in. His home is pretty great, too. I wouldn't mind living in a place like this. Although, I wonder if I'll ever be able to get out. Diaria. Jones? What in the world is he doing up at this hour? Wait, why is he sharpening his knife? Is he planning to eat me? No, he's gonna cut me up into little pieces and feed me to the whale! It's rent payment! Not good. Am I trapped here with a madman? Is there no hope of escape? Letty. Ah! Breakfast shortly. I'm getting it all ready now. Um, Mr. Jones, why are you cooking breakfast this late at night? It's morning, not night. We're in a whale, remember? We don't see the sun. Oh. Hitting the head? Uh huh. Yes, please. It'll be on your left down that hallway. On the left, huh? Once you're done, just kick the toilet. It'll flush on its own after you do. Wait, where does it flush to? Out into the ocean, of course. But what does it come out of? Don't ask! I'm trying to cook here! I see. So you gotta get back to the surface? Yeah. I need to make sure this egg gets back to its parents. That and someone important's waiting for me out there. A shame. I would have been glad to have you as a roommate. Thank you. 
So how exactly are you planning on getting out of here? Uh, you mean there isn't any way to get back? No, there is a way to get you out if you really want to leave. It's just... <laughs> We're gonna launch you through the big guy's blowhole. Wait, what are those barrels for? That's not gunpowder, is it? This here? It's just pepper. Why pepper? It'll make the whale sneeze. That should get you out of here. And I'll survive that, right? No, I've never had to blow out a dragon before. Guess we'll have to see. Don't get stuck or I won't be able to get you down. I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> Buck up, my boy. You're a dragon. That little egg's counting on you to have some courage, Letty. Right. Then let's do this. Countdown. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> situation would fit right into the survivalist lifestyle needed. But I can see that's not the sort of being you are. I never knew you were part seal, Diaria. I just assumed you were an elf. I am an elf. I borrowed this pelt from a selkie friend of mine, wearing it lets me transform into a seal. It's all yours, babe. So, were you also the reindeer and the rabbits? I didn't go that far. Though I did keep watch on you from a distance to ensure no harm came oh. to you. He's been swallowed by a whale. You sure look comfortable! I thought the extreme survival conditions might awaken your dragon sensibilities, but you're far too sweet-natured to survive in this climate. I apologize for testing you like that. Oh, well, sure, that's okay. This really is you, though, right? You're not gonna disrobe, are you? What do you mean by that? But what would you have done if I'd actually tried to bite you as a seal? Likely nothing at all. I dare say I would have been far too impressed by how strong you'd become. Daria! Thank you! So much! With the understanding that it would take far more than that to sink your teeth into me. Yeah, I bet. Here, have some stew. It should help warm you up. That sounds wonderful, thank you. Wherever did you find this egg? I saw it lying in the snow, and then it wound up on the same ice floe as me, and then... Do you have an egg allergy? No, that is not why I'm freaking out! I grabbed it because I really wanted to return it to its parents. What? Examine a few properties in this region. Hey, uh, is it just me or is it kind of hot here? 
I think it might be your outfit. Oh. Hmm. Gotta say, I like warm places like this a heck of a lot better. I see. So you dislike the cold, then? Does that mean you're all right abandoning the igloo you built? It's cool. Those yetis were happy to take over. That's good. I was thinking we ought to look into a communal living arrangement for the next few properties we tour. Something tells me that you would fare better in a place like that. I was planning on reaching out to a couple of my old landlord friends, but... Their communities are geared toward bachelors. I am a bachelor! Not a papa! Please accept this gift. What for? To celebrate the birth of your first child. Ah, oh, thanks, Diaria. Wait a sec! What kind of a home would you like to share with your papa? Are you even listening? But Letty, as I've explained before, when a creature is born, it may become attached to the first living thing that it sees, due to a phenomenon known as imprinting, remember? Uh-huh. And the effect is practically impossible to undo. I know, but do you really think it's okay for me to raise this little guy? Actually, hmm? I have a little story about that. A long, long time ago, there was a human explorer who took an expedition through the woods and discovered a massive egg. No sooner had he found it, an enormous bird hatched from it. The bird followed the human everywhere, believing he was its father. The explorer tried numerous times to return the baby bird to the wild, but the creature was determined to stay by his side no matter what. And so, the man raised the bird as though it were his own child. Which in turn meant that the bird grew up believing that it too was a human being. Wow, this imprinting thing is serious! Unfortunately, the bird didn't realize how short human lives were. So when the explorer died, it stayed with the corpse. Some say that you can still hear its sorrowful cries. Father, father. Not to mention the relentless pecking. Peck, 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 peck. It's a ghost story now! And while half of that tale is pure fabrication... Wait a minute, so which half was the real one? After a chick imprints on someone, it cannot be returned to its parents. First half, I hope. Am I to assume that you brought it with you because you realized that was the case? Luckily, it's a Hreisfelger chick, so it'll grow up just fine without much intervention. It's what? A giant eagle with an affinity for cold. They live along rivers in the northern mountain region. The baby ones eat snow until they get old enough to leave the nest. Whoa. Once it reaches adulthood, your job is done. It can summon a blizzard with one strong flap of its wings. So you don't need to worry at that point. Now I'm more worried! For now, all that you need to do is keep it cold and make sure it has enough snow to eat. Simple, yes? Well, not really, because there's no snow or ice around here. How's this? I stand corrected. Still, I can't help thinking I'm gonna screw this up somehow. In that case, my previous idea might just work. Huh? Perhaps here. We can find a more suitable caretaker. than it would be for an independent unit. In a communal space, you can also call upon your neighbors to help you, so it's an ideal spot to raise a little one. However, there aren't many units that can house larger tenants such as yourself. Most of them are instead designed with small to mid-sized residents in mind. Why don't they accommodate larger tenants? A dragon! That's crazy! Large beings can destroy things with the slightest of movements, which leads to higher repair costs. <laughs> They tend to be a lot noisier as well, even if they don't intend to be a bother. Which typically means more noise complaints. Yeah, that makes sense. Larger species don't often make their homes in communities like this one, so there isn't much demand anyway. So does that mean heroes don't show up here either? It's less common, but it happens. Hands up, punks! It's coming! Ah! 
Here comes a group now. You're not even gonna put up a good fight, are ya? who raid the community as a sort of new game plus activity whenever they've grown bored of their primary adventure. Wow, that's really rude. Avast! We'll pillage every last dwelling. Right! And the fun never ends. Agents of darkness, your luck has finally run out. For today, we will purge this land of your evil. All of the landlords here are quite powerful. <laughs> Don't mention it. Let me know if I can do anything else for you. The weaker ones can't fight, so the strongest guy protects them all from danger. Don't worry, little buddy. I'm gonna find you the best parents in the world. Just wait and see. Hello, sir. I don't think we have room for you here. We're so sorry. Oh, oh wait. wait! Diaria, we almost didn't see you. It's been quite a long time. You look like you're doing well. And who's this with you? Um, hello. I'm Letty. We're actually not here to discuss housing, though. Really? So, you're looking for adoptive parents. I can't say I've ever met a dragon who's so gentle. Well, I think it's quite lovely, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's heartwarming, I'll give you that. Are these two, like, a married couple or what? No, not exactly. Two-headed creatures have differing tastes, which can make it quite difficult to find partners. These two are brothers, but they provide each other companionships in place of a lover. That's tragic! You know we'd do anything to help you out under normal circumstances, Diaria. But some of our tenants have been terribly unhappy lately. We recently had to handle an issue with a resident who was complaining about somebody else's children being too loud. Besides, my hearing started to go. So I don't know if I can take care of a kid. You poor darling. Um, well, it just hatched, so it doesn't make a lot of noise yet. I don't think you'd have to worry about it crying loudly. Mm, that's true. Look, it's so small and adorable. Right, it is pretty tiny. Maybe it wouldn't be too much trouble. Would you like to live with us, little boy? <laughs> Very 
see. <laughs> it's time to eat dinner. <laughs> oh, they're just play biting, that's all. These kids never run out of energy. Yeah, play biting my tail. They've definitely got murder in their eyes. Where should we go next, Diaria? Hello? My dragon lord! What? Down here, Flame Dragon Lord! How wonderful that we should meet again, sir! You look familiar. Oh, that's right. I met you two in that mansion. What brings you both here? would unite us again. Are you here on some manner of business as well, my lord? Yeah, I've been trying to pick out some adoptive parents for a baby. Oh, we would be so incredibly honored if we could assist you in that endeavor, sir. Do you mind waiting for us here for a moment? We'll be right back after we deliver something. Okay, no problem. Can you please explain what that is, though? Oh, this? Certainly. You see? It's a wild Joy? Cool. Yeah, I want to make sure he goes to a nice, loving home. He's a good boy. You know, I bet you I could help get this kid swole in no time at all. Show us what you got! <laughs> It'll be tough, but I see you have potential. Let's move on to weight training. is awfully hard. It would seem so. <sighs> now that I think about it, I never figured out how it got separated from its real family in the first place. It's simple. After graceful girl lay their eggs in the snow, they keep their nests hidden by staying away until the eggs hatch. It may sound cruel, but it's the safest way they know. Most likely, this one's nest was buried in a bad spot, so it emerged alone. That makes sense. If that's the case, then it probably would have been smarter for me to just leave the egg alone, and maybe its mommy would have come back to pick it up eventually. Well, yes, that's certainly a possibility. But if you ask me, it wasn't very likely. Had you simply left the egg there, it's safe to assume something else would have come along and eaten it. I believe the only reason that bird is alive is because you protected it. Therefore, you needn't blame yourself for its plight. I mean, yeah, maybe. Perhaps you should be its father, Letty. Are you kidding me? No way! It probably doesn't even want me to be its dad! I'm a wimp and a coward. Useless, too. I mean, think. If someone attacked us, I couldn't keep this baby safe. I'd suck as a dad. Yes, he could hate you. Easily. You're not supposed to agree! I know that I'm screwed. Then again, I think all parents feel that way. Nobody starts out as the perfect caregiver. The only way you can learn and grow as a parent is by laughing, crying, and worrying alongside your children through the years. Besides, strength and bravery are not the only qualities that make a good father. 
Though if you can't protect them with physical strength, then you're in trouble. Thanks a lot. Oh, huh? there you are. The Aria! I heard that you were in the area. Long time no see, eh? Why, hello. What a lovely surprise. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Actually, I've been thinking about having a few renovations done on my building soon. Do you think you might be able to come up with an estimate for me? I'd be glad to. I'm going to go take a look with him. Would you mind waiting here for a few minutes? Sure, take your time. I heard you're looking for some parents for a baby bird. Yeah, everyone says so. So, so are you? Mm -hmm. If you don't mm -hmm. want it handed here... Dwarves will pay a hefty price for a rare creature like that. And I could use some extra cash for sure. <laughs> He's gonna fight me, isn't he? Uh-oh. Forget it! We are not gonna sell him to the dwarves! Never! Not in a million years! Why? You don't even know what to do with it! Sorry, not happening! Fine, then give me one of those bear cubs. No way, no how! If you harm one hair on their heads, then I'll, uh, I'll... You'll what? Run away and cry? I'll... Set you on fire! With, uh, my breath. It's really hot and stuff. Huh? Sorry, didn't hear what you said. My hair's covering my ears. Come on now. I'll take good care of them. I'd really rather do this the easy way, but if you're gonna make it complicated... I knew it. This is impossible. I guess I'll never be strong enough to protect anybody. No. I'll save them. I have to! He may look harmless, but I should warn you, he's been called the Flame Dragon Lord of Mass Destruction. He's turned countless heroes to ash, and once raised an entire kingdom to the ground in a single night. That's the Flame Dragon Lord? If you don't run now, we might just be barbecued. <laughs> The heroes certainly have made you famous, haven't they, Letty? I don't want to be famous. Thank you so much for protecting my kids. Did you see that, Dad? It was scary. Yeah, but that dragon was super amazing. I'll Come tell you one on, thing. Being a parent is no easy job. I respect that guy. Can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. Come. Come. Huh? You risked your life to guard those little ones, which makes you a dad. Focus on looking at family friendly properties from here on out. That would be awesome. By the way, have you decided on a name for the little fellow yet? <laughs> I had to give it a whole lot of thought, but yeah. I finally decided on the name Pip. That took a lot of thought. His full name is Pio Velfelbia P. Alpine Pio Derica. What do you think? Sounds pretty noble, doesn't it? Spoken like a proud father. saved up for house hunting. But I had to get food for Pip. And buy cold medicine, too. And then, Pip needed more snow to stay cool. So I had to import some. And now my wallet is empty. The money from my baby beef is all gone. Don't worry. We'll fix it. Let's spend today earning you money.
changing the name of the show? Thank you, gentlemen. Until next time. You see, everyone should have financial assets, both for home buying and raising children. And this is an excellent opportunity for you to begin building them. Um, okay. I'll try. But wait, do you really think that people would have much use for a dragon's help? Oh, you would be surprised. The market is always in need of more dragons, Letty. Demand is quite high. <gasps> Why, though? I don't like the way you worded that. If you're ready, we can use fast travel. Execute anyone based on their species or nationality. That makes it a popular trading spot. Some merchants carry your typical adventurer's fare of weapons, defense items, and potions, while others offer forbidden tomes, illicit substances, and powerful charms. The bulk of their inventory is either stolen or smuggled. So basically, this place is a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Yes, I suppose it is. That's a rather uncharitable way to describe it, though. In a crowded city like this one, you'll be certain to find plenty of gems. Why, hello there, sir. So, anything here strike your fancy? Hmm. How about a dragon hide? They'll kill me for sure! <laughs> I can't handle this! Combat, thievery, and larceny are all prohibited inside this marketplace under any circumstances, so you'll be fine. I think. <laughs> if even a hero breaks the rules, they're jailed. Why are there so many in there? Seems excessive. If I had to guess, I would say most of them probably hit the steal button by accident. If it happens that much, you'd think they would redesign the UI. It's just part of being a hero. A dragon? So, what do they do with them after they jail them? I'm not quite sure. But I do know the cage never stays full for long. Uh. Charm. Can't hire you unless I know I can trust you. Did you bring any letters of recommendation? Unfortunately, no. Wait a second. I thought you had connections everywhere. Do you not know this guy? I can hardly be expected to know every person alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quiet down, Pip. I'm trying to make a good impression here. The little one makes quite the convincing argument. Uh -huh. I can make a small exception just this one time. If you're half as great as he says you are, then I would be stupid not to hire you. So I think I'll take my chances and strike while the iron's hot. Um, okay. I'll give it my best shot! I would recommend you start him off with a simple task. Mm -hmm. For this job, you're supposed to cut trees and rocks into cubes of perfectly equal size. Sure, I can handle that, but what are they going to be used for? Apparently, it's becoming extremely trendy for adventurers to construct their homes and various tools out of blocks like this one. You do the mining, and they do the crafting. Really? Wow, that does sound pretty cool. Okay, here it goes. seems oddly familiar to me for some reason. Wait, what? Man, I'm beat. It feels like we walked a thousand miles today. I can't wait to take a shower. Huh? Oh, hello there, sirs. <laughs> Seriously? I can't wait to put my feet up and relax. Would you like me to take your bags? Yes, please. That would be... <laughs> I'm 
social event, and take their dog for a walk, perhaps. Some people even hire proxies to fill up the empty seats at a wedding. Ooh, that one sounds nice. I do love a good wedding. I doubt anyone would hire a dragon for a wedding job, though. Huh, I wonder what kind of proxy work I could do. Hmm. Ah, might you be the client? Huh? Yes, my name is Robert. I'm a mage, but I'm an absolute beginner. Wow, so cool! It's a real dragon in the flesh! I never thought I would get to see one! It's incredible! Do you mind if I dissect you? I'd rather you didn't! You may not. What is it you'd like him to do for you? Oh, right. Sorry, I guess I got a little carried away there. I just want you to come with me really quick so I can pretend that I summoned you! Summon me? You mean, like, you say something awesome and then the sky opens up and I come out like whoosh or whatever? Yeah, no can do. It's fine. You don't have to do anything fancy. I'll handle the theatrics. You can just show up. You see, I kind of promised somebody I could summon a beast. So you're actually going to try to summon something for us? All right then, loser. I guess we'll see what you come up with. <laughs> I hope you're prepared. Now, Red Dragon! I call Bonzi! Fish. Smells good. Is that a real dragon? Or is it just some guy in a mascot suit? How rude! If you're not convinced, then I'll have to show you its legendary attack! Now, dragon! Unleash your aura and drop aura! No fear! That wasn't part of the contract! Aura and... what was it? How am I supposed to pull that off? Oh, crap! What do I do? spot, so he decided to lend you his assistance. Oh, thanks a million, Pip! <laughs> he says, you're too powerful and cool to waste your time on those weaklings. I took care of them for you. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. We earned a lot of money from that job. Yes, typically requests with that kind of specificity yield greater rewards than the more general ones. Do you have any more assignments for dragons? Yeah, you betcha. This guy needs one for a, a magic test. <laughs> Got a new technique I've been working on, and I figured this was the perfect way to see whether or not it'll pierce dragon scales. Thank you for helping me today. Wait a second! So if this trick works, I'll be dead? Here we go! Stop it! Sorry, but Papa's risking life and limb at the moment. Let's be patient, all right? Hello there, handsome. Do you have a few minutes to sit and chat with me? Relax, I'm only teasing. Well, this is a surprise, Lilith. It's been decades. Your memory must be failing you, my lord. After all, I'm hardly a day over 20. Is that the look you're going for these days, then? Oh, please, don't call it a look. Anyway, when I heard about an elf wandering around this marketplace with a dragon, I figured it might be you. Are you house hunting for dragons again? As paid work, yes. Uh, don't you think you should go over there and help him out? I've cast a spell on him to increase his magic defense. He'll be fine. Hmm? Something to say? Oh, it's nothing. When you first became the Dark Lord, you didn't care about anyone else human or otherwise. 
I was just thinking about how much you've changed. Ah, my first days as the Dark Lord. I was different then. That was the unluckiest day of my entire life. day to witness the crowning of our new Dark Lord. I am Godfrey, Grand Chamberlain of the Dark Lord Agency, and I will be presiding as Master of Ceremonies for this historic occasion. And now, without further ado, please welcome the next Dark Lord, the third of his title, Diaria Mal... Marcian... or... not? The Dark Lord's Palace. They only give tours on public access days. What a rare opportunity. This impregnable fortress was forged by the magic of the first Dark Lord. I might as well look around, right? I sense powerful ancient magic with every step I take. How fascinating. I'm assuming these symbols are probably charms meant to keep intruders at bay. <laughs> He can't have made it outside the palace walls in that amount of time. We have to search every nook and cranny until he's found! Hey, sir! Look! Right there! <laughs> My lord! One of them's still unfinished. But what's missing? This, perhaps? Wait! Yes? Why did we suddenly end up outside of the palace? It seems the Dark Lord must have activated the anti-intruder charm, sir. I see. They can teleport such a great distance. Wait, what am I saying? Now's not the time to be impressed. We must continue our search at once. <laughs> oh, the water gates in the hallway! <laughs> I would say it's probably the Dark Lord, sir. Which that activates the room of freezing. If I had to guess, I'd wager it was the Dark Lord again, Mr. Grand Chamberlain. <laughs> All right, that's one of you is responsible for turning up the heat in the room of burning! <laughs> <laughs>
intruder charms, every last one! Right this instant! Um, I think that'll be kind of tricky. Coming! Species and regions have autonomy, so there's no need for that position anymore. Any conflicts are handled by the Ministry of Justice, with the Ministry of Security stepping in for emergencies now and then. All the Dark Lord does anymore is appear on posters. I would never trouble myself with such pointless nonsense. Look at you. You were never this talkative before. That black dragon really changed you, didn't he? I'm a little jealous. It's merely a side effect of growing older, I'm afraid. Too old. Oh, please, you look the same as you did a thousand years ago. Well then, my charge is done working. Farewell. Uh, hold on, before you go, there's just one more thing. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. I'm a dragon meat platter with a nice salad. Calm down, Letty. It's only a bit of soot. Uh -huh. Oh, why didn't the spell work? Uh Hey, I guess you're right. Everything's fine. I'm tougher. It looks like I leveled up. No, you didn't. Wow, shut up. Here's your pay. Thank you so much. This is great. With all this money, I can build my own house now, right? Yes, and you'll be able to live comfortably. I'm going to pick up a few supplies for the next steps of our journey. In the meantime, you should wash yourself off at the well in the market square. <laughs> sure, that sounds good. <laughs> ah, that's a lot better. Thanks for waiting, Pip. Hey, Dragon. <laughs> huh? Yeah? What's up? Can I ask you to do me a tiny favor? I need you to take a few things to this little hut on the outskirts of town. Here's a map. Um, sorry, but I have to meet up with my friend. Oh, come on. I'll pay you and everything. Uh, humans are gathering outside town because they heard there's a dragon nearby. Live dragons are always a hot commodity, as I'm sure you know. I doubt they'll attack you inside the city, but please be careful. I'd like to buy all these for half price, please. <sighs> Honestly, dragons can be such difficult creatures. I... I came to deliver a few things for you. You can just leave him in that little hut. Wait! Okay, then. I assume you mean this thing. This is going to be your home from now on. Don't thrash around too much. We need to keep you in decent shape. See you later.
You're just small enough to fit through. Run, listen to your papa. I know, Pip, but I... I can't. But I should still try. That hurt. I think I broke a tooth. You in there. What's with all that noise? I'm sorry, mister! You can turn me into weapons and sell me off, but please don't hurt Pip! The heck are you talking about? Looks like we got ourselves another clueless newbie, huh? Hey, Huh? What's the matter, little guy? You feeling hungry? Um, hi. Can you please get us out of here? I was in the middle of a big journey. Now I can't find my friend. And I really don't want to get turned into cool fighting equipment. Sounds like you've got problems, all right. Mm -hmm. You can leave whenever. Seriously? You should have some tea before you take off, though. I can introduce you to everyone. To everyone, huh? How many prisoners do they have here? <laughs> I bet the leader's really scary! If you punk step out of line, I'll tear you to pieces. Sir. Hey, we got us some new blood. <laughs> I'm dead! Hey, you leave! Come on in! What kind of prison is this? The dog guy is Daniel. Cobalt, not werewolf. These are the skeleton bros. What's up, buddy? <laughs> and check out this devastating beauty here. Our very own Madonna. The lovely Cassandra. Oh, you don't have to make such a fuss, you know. But here's a headshot if you want one. Um, thank you. And you can call me Steve. Just Steve. And this is, uh, everybody else. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Wanna stick around and hang with us for a bit? Um, sure. So all of you are down here because you were captured? <laughs> yep. Have you ever tried to get away? No, oh, no. Actually, this dungeon is part of a fighting arena that's owned by some old human Margrave. You see? The atmosphere's chill. No hunters, no salesmen. We do get heroes every now and then. Do I smell glory? But the jailers take care of them for us. Honestly, it's way easier to stay in. We're free to hang out with each other anytime. And the food's not half bad. That sounds great, but at the end of the day, it's still a prison. Even if it seems like they're treating you okay now, something bad is definitely gonna happen. Uh. I bet you'll change your mind after you see the amenities they have in here. We have this enormous bath to keep us clean, complete with jacuzzi jets. Awesome. Not to mention all the latest fitness equipment so we can stay in shape. Nice. And a state-of-the-art theater for entertainment. Wow, that's sweet. <gasps> Wait, they probably only have all that cool stuff here so you won't try to leave. I mean, come on, our rooms are literal jail cells. Well, actually... Everyone's welcome to decorate their quarters. Here's where Cass lives. That looks like a full-blown remodel! We call this the Queen's Chamber, for obvious reasons. So remember to bow down when you walk by, yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. I wouldn't want to get cursed. I guess that about does it for the dungeon tour. You should start thinking about your decorations. Oh, I don't know, Steve. I'm not... The jailers can get you whatever mats you need. Are you serious? Sure. <laughs> They like to play cards with us. Oh, you're back. Were they here the whole time? All right, guys. It's time to get to work. <clears throat> the first round is the skeletons versus the dragon. Hurry up and get ready. Roger that. What work is he talking about? I told you this is an arena, right? Mm -hmm. huh? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a rumble? Because another day means another battle! Watch these vicious monsters duke it out for your entertainment! In one corner, we have a trio of champions who brought countless foes to their doom! They have no fear of death because they're already dead! They're the Skeleton Brothers! Let's go! Today, they'll be facing a new challenger! A creature so powerful, so fearsome, so unspeakably evil, he'll have you quaking with terror! Give it up for the Red Dragon! Can the Skeleton Brothers hold it together against the dead?
devastating strength of his fire breath? Probably, since I can't actually breathe fire. No! Let the battle begin! Uh, uh, you ready to die, Zane? Oh, You're dead! Here we go! Hey, <laughs> like you let it go out! ourselves as many times as we want. See? Look. I'm as good as new. Hey, what gives? Well, as long as nobody got hurt, I guess it's probably fine. It's all according to the script. So, you have shows like this every day? Nah, it's once every three days. We always base the outcome on the betting odds, so the house earns a healthy profit every time. You lose today. Got it. The Margrave makes a killing from these things. <laughs> and as long as he's happy, you get the star treatment. Makes sense. Yeah, humans usually just cause us trouble. But I'd say hey, this is a pretty this? good way to coexist. That sounds great. Hey, sorry about that, Pip. Your papa had to do some work. Uh... Ah! Where the heck is he? Where are you, my precious child? Where did you go? Please come to Papa! Are you here? Here, baby? He's gone. Where'd my baby boy go? What's up? Ah! Uh, who am I? Pip, you're safe. He was in the drainage ditch. I found him and put him in the ice room. He sure loves the cold, doesn't he? Thank you so much, mister. You saved my son's life. Uh, just doing my job. I took the liberty of ordering some snow for him, too. Keep an eye on him from now on. Right, thanks. Coexistence. I never knew life could be like this. Wonder what Diari is up to right now. He must be looking all over. Diaria was not looking. I'm down. Amazing. He's won 12 matches now. You really know how to drink, Elf, but I'm up next. Loser fits the bill for the boobs. You still okay with those rules? Absolutely. Blood! Thirteen contenders down! Nor was he worried. Ten days after Letty came to the arena. Man, they really worked us to the bone. I'm dead tired. Great job today. The crowd's been getting bigger since you showed up here. Huh? Okay, where's Diaria? Why the long face? <laughs> Good work out there. He behaved the entire time. Thank you so much for babysitting. <laughs> My pleasure. I really thought Diaria would have found me by the second or third day. I guess magic can't do everything. I'm sure he tried. Guys, we have news! And it's about the Margrave. Gather round all! The Margrave is dead. <laughs> well, how's that affect us? <laughs> yeah, I mean, humans kick the bucket all the time. What's the big deal about this one? That just means the arena gets a new owner, right? How I wish that were all it was. You see, he left it to his eldest son, who wishes to close it down immediately. He thinks it's barbaric. I'm sorry. And since the arena's closing, you'll all be killed. Wait, he's just gonna kill everybody? But why would he do that? Is this my fault? He must have found out that I was pocketing our profits to build a rotating theater. Huh? Maybe it's because we fudged the numbers in our favor to score extra cash. You what? Or because we went on that nice vacation. Those were such fun times. <laughs> you have that many reasons? 
No, they just don't want you to take revenge on them for capturing you. Don't worry, they still don't have a clue, so we're safe. They were in on it? I mean, they enslaved all of us and then we scammed them. I say that makes us even. Uh, sure? Thing is, we've got more than that to worry about. We wouldn't even know about this if we hadn't just heard it from the Margrave's mercs outside. Once they get all the human workers out, they'll come in and kill you all. Wait, you mean they're here already? How are we gonna survive this? No two weeks, huh? Brutal. All right, we're gonna bust out. Yes, sir. But how do we escape if the mercenaries are already right outside? They'll see us. That's easy. There's an ancient aqueduct that runs underneath the compound. It connects to an old well outside the walls. The whole thing's too old to be on a map. But just to make absolutely sure they don't figure out we're going that way, we'll have to keep the humans distracted. So we're gonna need a dedicated team for that part. Ah! Why would you pick me? Because you stand out. You're a dragon. I can't be part of the plan, though. I'll just get in your way. We're performers, aren't we? I'm sure it'll all work out. Except this time it's for real. This is like an actual fight to the death. Get it together, man. Put your faith in your friends. My friends, huh? And don't forget, you've got yourself a little one to take care of now, don't you? You're right! It's time to bust down! Good grief. Who turned off the lights? Yeah, I can't see crap. It's fine if we can't see them. They're all supposed to be in cages anyway. I mean, all we gotta do is reach right in and kill them. It's a piece of cake. All right, I'll make it quick, okay? Oh. Oh, oh. How dare they? Where'd they all go? Find them! The decoy worked. Yeah, but now they're a million times angrier. Honey, you brought your son. Are you sure that was the right decision? I had to. I tried to send him with the others, but he wouldn't go. Shh. We don't have time to sit here and chat. We're sitting ducks if we don't move. Right. right. You expect me to sneak past them under a giant box? You should be all right. We put this brick wallpaper on one side of it, so you're gonna blend right in. But why only on one side? Come on, man. Every stealth mission needs a cardboard box. If you covered the whole thing, it would ruin the vibe. Huh? Okay. I'll lay out the box plan for you. You get some corn, set it out, and then hide and wait for them to take you. That's when you sneak up behind them. And strike. Is it really that easy? Trust me, it is. Try it on those guys. They must be around here somewhere. Okay, first I get close to them, then set the book down. Wait, how do I drop the book without them seeing? Hmm. Huh? Oh no, did I forget a step or something? I can't see where I am! <gasps> Whoa. Ah! definitely been blown by now. I'm so sorry. Hang on, where's Cassandra? Oh, she's right over there. Last riddle. Your unit's allotment of beer was stolen by one of your companions and sold away. Tell me, who pilfered all that alcohol? 
Here's a hint. The culprit is wearing brand new gear. <laughs> I knew it was you! That gear was for all of us! <laughs> She's using her riddles to trick the mercs into fighting each other. Scary. Don't look that way, Pip. Well, let's keep moving. All uh, right. Aha! Uh, uh -huh, found them! And showtime. something else. You're a jerk! Who's this? Friend of yours? He's very handsome. My name is Diaria. Thank you all for looking out for Letty. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I heard there were groups of men coming to slaughter non-humans, so I came to assist you. Though, now that I've arrived, I can see that you've got everything under control. Now all we have to do is get out safely! Yes, but first... I'm going to erase the memories of these guards so they won't follow us. Magic really is convenient. Best of luck, dudes! See ya! <laughs> I'm so happy you guys are okay. We're still missing a few. Sorry to make you wait. The guards! It took you guys that long to deliver your resignations? Oh, no. It did take a while to liberate everything from the storerooms, though. Yeah, sweet. Thanks, <laughs> So, what will your next move be? I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. Maybe we should try and hack it as a traveling circus. Let's do it! <laughs> they sure are a tight-knit group. Yeah, totally. If you wanted to stay with them, it might be an ideal setup for you. Thank you, but I think I'll pass. I mean, who knows what I would have to do in a circus. Ah, oh, understood. Still, I learned a lot from them. It makes no difference to them who, what, or where they are, because as long as they're all together, they'll always be at home. And now, I know that even if it takes me a while, I can have something like that for me and my family one day, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice thought. Thanks for everything, you guys! So, uh, I didn't hear from you for like ten days. What were you doing all that time anyway? Nothing, really. On my way here. Oh, please don't hurt me! I visited the local lords and made sure they knew about the many crimes of the Margrave who's now in power. So I'm sure dealing with the combat arena will be the least of his troubles from now on. Don't tell, all right? Wow! You've got so many human friends, Diaria. It's really handy. Only work contacts, of course. That's the Dark Lord of Real Estate for you. <laughs> You're so cool. <laughs> you know, lately 
it seems like no matter how much sleep I get, I always wake up exhausted. Then perhaps our adventure is wearing you down. We'd better spend today relaxing. Mm. I recommend you take a brief nap. Okay, that's probably a good idea. seems to be the matter, Pip. You want to play, do you? Your father is out of commission at the moment. Are you certain? Oh, you're going alone then? Hmm. Well, I don't see why you can't. But you mustn't stray too far, all right? And promise me that you'll return before sundown. Oh, and don't follow any suspicious strangers. That's very important. Have fun out there. Of course, we can't 
forget to thank these smart little critters for the part they played in your plan. You guys owe us one. Did you see the looks on their faces? Classic. you. Breaking a branch of the world tree is a most serious offense with colossal ramifications, you know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have to explain this to you, but every branch of this tree is a manifestation of life itself, and we must take care of it. I'll do better next time. At this rate, you'll strip Idrisil bare. Then I'll just try a different spell. No, don't try anything! <sighs> I've told you many times now. Children are to stay in the nursery unless an adult is present. 
You'll have private quarters when you're grown. Besides, don't you think it would be much more fun to live amongst your friends instead? <laughs> I'm better than him. What a trouble. I like... my own company. It's just, there are so many different things I want to learn about in this world. Which is why I need a place of my own where I can read my books all day without anybody disturbing me. But if there's something you'd like to learn, you can just ask an adult. That's far better than sealing yourself away. <laughs> you adults are the ones who've always isolated yourselves here inside the World Tree, though. So how could you possibly know anything that isn't written inside these books? No, thank you. You brat! Very well, Diaria. If your hunger for knowledge is really that unrelenting, I suppose we can entrust your care to the Great Wise Serpent. I'm too much of a handful, so you simply decided to exile me? It's more like you uh, studying abroad! Far away from here, in the northernmost lands, near the frozen Urgot Sea, lives a being who was old and wise even before Yggdrasil grew. It's an extremely dangerous place to live. But there will be much for you to learn there. Welcome to the far reaches of the North, curious little traveler. I have been expecting you. My name is Jorman Gunder. And I'm Diaria. I've been told that you can see for a thousand leagues and that you're a limitless fountain of knowledge, so please teach me everything you can. What is it you wish to know? Those loincloths that are always worn by goblins, are they made of wool or him? Oh my. That's certainly a specific question. I haven't been this taken aback in centuries. It doesn't say in my books. No one cared enough to write it down. Hmm. Before I share any wisdom with you, you'll need a safe place to build a fire and keep warm. I'm sure there are many things you wish to learn, but I believe there are some very basic concepts in this life that you must come to comprehend first. You see, my young student, everything that exists in this world is interconnected. Obtaining a piece of information is one thing, but true understanding is another entirely. Fortunately, both you and I have many years to live, so first, let us warm you so that you do not perish from the cold. And after that, I will be happy to unravel all the queries that burn in your mind. I look forward to it. <laughs> Master. And so I began studying under the Great Serpent's tutelage. I learned languages, philosophy, religion, history, biology, geography, astronomy, medicine, and magic. The days I spent with my master were most fulfilling. However, there was one slight issue. Uh, not again. Whatever is the matter, young one? It would appear there's been another earthquake. An earthquake? Oh, I didn't sense it at all. That's because you're the one who caused it. <laughs> That's where you're going to live? This might be helpful. The house the grown-ups built for me was nice. For ten days. After that, my master had the golems put something together. Oh, it lasted two days. No matter how many houses I build, they'll just keep getting crushed. In that case... Master! From now on, please resurrect me each morning. You plan to freeze to death every night. Cold isn't the only thing that threatens your life here. If a wandering berserker tears you to pieces, what then? If I am not able to ensure your safety, then I have no choice but to send you back to Idrisil. Uh, no way! I'll rebuild it stronger than ever, Master! It won't be crushed this time, I promise! 
I regret to admit that construction is an area where I am lacking in knowledge. I just know that between the two of us, we'll be able to figure out something that works. I see. Very well, if you're sure. Hmm. I've heard that adding walls makes a structure more durable. We can divide up the interior. That makes it look like a box of desserts. I wouldn't need quite so many rooms for just myself anyway. But we might as well try it, right? Good. I'll call the golems for help. It's been upgraded from a studio to a one-bedroom. <gasps> we failed. What if we try what? using some metal girders to reinforce the exterior walls? Oh, good idea. There. You can't get much sturdier than that. The cold causes metal to stick and become brittle. I have to say, this is a fun puzzle. What a great learning opportunity. Uh, um, so, this was a rather challenging project to complete, but after plenty of trial and error, I was able to procure a strong metal alloy that's resistant to cold. And it's finished! Master, please come look! I built my brand new house! Come here and see it! With this done, I can finally return to my studies! centuries as Dark Lord, in name only. 
And just when mankind had forgotten the Dark Lord altogether, that was when he decided to come calling. out of the way before we proceed then call me diaria not the dark lord okay fair enough and like i said earlier the name's body i'm a black dragon just in case you couldn't tell by looking i like a woman with sharp claws and a nice long tail on her i didn't ask huh. hold on i think i may have heard of you are you the mighty dark dragon who has that massive bounty on his head by chance that's me i'm the fearsome dreadworm who leaves mountains of corpses in his way Sometimes I'm burninating the countryside, and sometimes I'm looking in labyrinths. If I hear the mighty dark dragon's been spotted somewhere, then that's where I'm gonna go. Cause that is just how I roll! I think that's the wrong way around. Well, yeah, I wouldn't want to not show up if people are expecting me somewhere. That would be a huge letdown. I'm not sure why that matters, but whatever. Anyway, getting back to business, what is it you'd like me to help you with, exactly? <laughs> What I need is real estate! What? I am terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that does not quite fall within my current skill set. I would suggest consulting with a real estate agent, a dwarven artisan, or perhaps your local social services who- The hell is this? I give you that humble ass greeting and then you go and tell me to piss off like I'm some kind of newt! You're the Dark Lord for crying out loud, can't you just shazam me a nice five-star mansion out of thin air? This isn't the best way to ask someone for help. Oh, so you don't like my attitude? It's more than the attitude. Okay then, how about this? I want a house! Please, 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 I'll do anything! Just give me what I want and I want it now! He's Come still the missing the point. My goodness, you've brought me another interesting acquaintance. Master. Whoa, she's huge. You ought to assist him, Diaria. Must it be me? The poor fellow traveled all this way to ask for your help, and for your help alone. If you are any apprentice of mine, I expect you to lend your assistance to anyone who is in need. Hell yeah, buddy, it's good for you! Would you kindly stay out of this, please? <sighs> Very well, then. Whoa! So she convinced you, huh? Now, Black Dragon, I do hope you'll treat him with care. There are many things that he has yet to learn. No problem. He's gonna be in good hands with me, ma'am. Come on, let's get rolling. Safe travels to you both. So, what is our purpose here? What do you mean? We're looking for primo real estate. I mean, I wanted to do it the easy way and have you conjure up a house for me, but you wouldn't do that, so the next best thing is to reap them from somebody else. It's kind of a pain, honestly. You're completely discounting the possibility of earning the money to buy a custom-built house of your own? Eh, yeah, maybe next time. 
Anyway, this is a hero guild fortress, is it not? Yeah, it's one of them. But I'm pretty sure nobody would be too bothered if I took it off this stupid ants. And here I thought concern for others was a completely foreign concept to you. Hey! Don't sass me. If attacking a hero guild fortress was your plan from the start, then you don't need me, do you? This should be no trouble at all for someone as renowned as the mighty Dark Dragon. I suppose I'll take my leave of you now. You're ditching me? But your master told you to lend me a hand. She won't be too happy. I get it. The Dark Lord doesn't have the cojones for this place. Oh, man. What a maroon. Maroon. All right. I guess I'll tell your master you backed out. Very well. I will assist you on one condition. And that's you explain to me what cojones and maroons are. I can tell that they're insults, but what kind? Not the type that let things go, are you? Are you certain you'd like to approach directly? An aerial attack would make far more sense. Man, you're dumber than you look. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? When you pay somebody a visit, you're supposed to knock on the front door. It's funny! Oh crap, dragon! Yeah, but it ain't just any dragon! I'm the mighty dark dragon, and I'm your worst nightmare! I don't barbecue pretty girls, so you ladies can run along! That said... <laughs> you fellas are about to become toast. <laughs> Be strong, heroes. We must defeat this creature as one! The mats he drops will be ours to share! Attack! My man! Not bad. Comes naturally. We'll never surrender. Because we are true heroes! It's our responsibility to carry the hopes of the people and right the wrongs of this great land! For we are the sovereign gods of the new world! That's a bit of a stretch. All right, then, I'll make the gods my bitch! Don't stick to their level. Why the hell not? Fight ain't just about who hits harder! It's about passion, too! Hear, hear! Hear, hear! So I'm the bad guy. Well, if this charade is so important, please continue. You don't have to be such a stick in the mud, Dark Lord. The Dark Lord? Really? No one's seen the Dark Lord in centuries! I thought he was only a legend! You mean they have legends about you? It would seem so. I don't think I can deal with you being more legendary than me. It bothers you that much. It doesn't matter how legendary you may be! Cause you're both about to be good and dead! <laughs> hey, Dark Lord! This sure is fun, isn't it? What exactly about this situation is fun to you? It's not really the situation that matters. <laughs> What's actually important is enjoying yourself while you work, whatever it is you do. I'm not quite sure I follow. That way, even if you lose, if you had the most fun, you win. <laughs> Still not following. That's the last of them. Allow me to send them off to the church. <laughs> that was a real blast, huh? Well, now we've claimed this Hero's Guild Fortress as your new residence. I suppose it's time for me to be on my way. You know, next I think I want to look at a beachfront property. Ready to roll, Dark Lord? Did you not hear a word I just said? And what exactly do you mean by next? I thought you wanted to make this place your new home. Uh, uh, uh. You and I both know that house hunting is no cakewalk. How can I be sure this one's the best if I don't shop around for a little while? Man, it's kind of dim. But you're the one who did that? I can't live in a house with such a fragile door. Come on! Again, not the door's fault. Whatever, let's head over to the next place and check it out. Barney, how many houses do you plan on viewing? How am I supposed to predict that? I figure I'll know the perfect spot when I see it. Idiot! That was totally uncalled for. I truly despise beings like you. That's fine with me, because I just so happen to hate snobby, pretentious nerds. <sighs> I gotta tell you, man, I wasn't expecting... And that was how my century-long house hunt with the Black Dragon began. You know that? The next morning, at a nearby church... Oh? What is this? Do 
you really need to create such a ruckus? A news bulletin? Yeah, I found it lying on the main road. Multiple hero guilds attacked. Has the Dark Lord finally returned? Oh, seems we're the talk of the town. You're the only one in the headline, Mr. Legendary! How's that my problem? I know, I'll send him a letter saying I did it. Can we just focus on finding you a home, please? Uh, We've viewed countless properties, but you haven't liked a single one. This journey has been a colossal waste of time. How am I supposed to find somewhere I want to live when the doors crumble and the floors cave in? I have one suggestion. Why don't we test out a variety of building materials to see which ones can withstand a dragon's occupancy? You just thought of that? Well, excuse me, but my extensive expertise doesn't cover construction as well. Okay, so how are we supposed to test stuff out? We'll need to get several materials and have you walk and jump on them in order to get an idea of their durability. So I suppose the first step is asking a few acquaintances of mine to procure them. I got a better idea. I say we force the heroes to help us instead. Next headline is gonna say the handsome and powerful Mighty Dog Dragon has arrived! You're still thinking about that? You hear about the Dark Lord returning? I wonder if he'll attack our base too. We're fine. Unlike all the other bases, this one was built by dwarven architects, so not even the Dark Lord could get it. <laughs> A single sweep of your tail destroyed the outer walls. Is this one made out of reinforced brick? That clearly won't do. I heard it was built by dwarves, but judging by the build quality, I can see that the budget for this fortress must have been quite low. Who's that? Dark Lord! Let's head to the next one! Very well. Thank you for your cooperation, everyone. Bye, losers! Heart Fortress got attacked, too. Yeah, by the Dark Lord and the Black Dragon. But oddly, all they did was break a hole in the wall and fly away. I wonder what they're plotting. The roof! Yeah, that won't cut it. Work on your roof, would ya? By the way, it may be prudent to figure out whether a heavier roof is more resistant to earthquakes as well. We better keep moving. We should see what structures are the most resistant to fire. So not even marble can withstand your fire breath. Got it. If you're looking for something stronger than my fire breath, you're out of luck! Well, I hope that isn't the case. Otherwise, finding you at home could prove to be impossible. generous sacrifices we finally have the proper data there's no way for a dragon to live in a home built for humans yeah i kind of figured that from the start indeed i believe what you would need is a large-scale property that was created with non-human inhabitants in mind sounds good but i wouldn't want to steal from a non-human i do have some morals you know in that case your best option would be to offer a sizable sum of money to dwarven builders they've constructed some of the world's greatest architectural wonders Assuming your budget allows for it, I'm confident that a qualified team of dwarves could build you an abode that more than suits your needs. Are you being serious right now? Dwarves hate dragons. I ain't got a hoard of gold for them to steal, but even if I did, I wouldn't mess with their kind unless I was looking to die. I can't stand them anyways. They always act so greedy. Well, I know they have a great fondness for precious metals. Hang on, are you saying you've never met a dwarf before? Um, no, I've never even spoken to one. Then how can you know? That's kind of like looking at the front cover of a book and pretending that you read every page of it. Really, man, you don't know anything. Um, now, don't be absurd. No, uh, who cares? It's not like I have enough money to hire them anyway. Uh, hey. Has there always been a hero guild out here? That's their flag, ain't it? Strange. I don't see it on the map, 
Perhaps that one was established very recently. Hmm. May say we go pay him a nice visit. What? Why? We've already finished all our research, so... Uh, shut up, up, nerd! Come on! Let's go! Uh -huh. Knock, knock! Better make some room, everybody! A dragon! Hold the applause, okay? Was all the hullabaloo entirely necessary? I'm about to dress the joint. Come, give me a hand. What on earth would be the point of that? You don't even plan to live here. I saw some teeny tiny defenseless non-human critters running around this area. Don't want them living in fear of heroes all the time, do we? So, I'm gonna wreck it. I wouldn't be so hasty, Barney. Those creatures may not live in this area. Don't you think it's possible they were just passing through here? Less talking, more smashing! Man, I can't believe a nerd like you is this stupid! I mean, you never shut up about your damn books! An elf Elf's with a dragon? A that guy must be the hand. Dark Lord! Ah! My patience is gone. You dare to bombard me with insults while you behave with such childish entitlement! You're nothing but a homeless beggar who forced himself into my care! What?! I'm not traveling with you by choice. You want to go, you egghead? You took a big game for a baby who was always whining about his master. Fine. If you think that poorly of me, then try finding a home without my help. You selfish, obnoxious brute. You'd like that, because then you can go back and yeah, never left him on me. But we can use it as a chance to attack them. Be <laughs> your yeah, face. You never cared at all about any non-humans. They're just an excuse for you to do whatever you like. <laughs> What is that matter? If the heroes are paying attention to me, that means they'll be too busy to mess with a small price. I'm at the top of the food chain, aren't I? That's my stop! What about you? Don't you have something to protect? It's not that... Of course you don't! Cause you don't know nothing! Think more about the world! And who you have in it! There are many things that he has yet to learn. <sighs> Can I ask you a question? To learn more about you? Uh, I gotta say, this is a surprise. I mean, you've never asked me about myself before. I'm... thinking about the world around me. Ah, finally see what an interesting guy I am, huh? All right, ask away. You want to hear all about my glorious adventures? Not exactly. I'm curious, what is your reason for seeking a home of your own? The thing is, let's see, I just want, you know... What? A family and all that. I ain't getting any younger. I need a wife. And trust me, the Lady Dragons won't give a fellow the time of day if he doesn't have his own stomping grounds. There's another problem, too, and sadly, my good looks don't quite make up for that. Every time I do find a good spot, a bunch of heroes always come knocking at the door. <laughs> it ain't easy being so damn legendary. It's more to do with the bounty. So you'd like a place where you can safely bring women home for some private time? I don't care for the way you phrased that. A nest for baby making? Even worse! But I don't understand why you came to me. I'm sure there are plenty of others willing to help, even if you aren't able to pay them. Well, the way I see it, if the mighty Dark Dragon is gonna retire, he needs a successor. And you're the best choice. <laughs> what interesting logic. <laughs> what will you do next? I gotta keep on looking, obviously. After all, the world's a real big place, ain't it? So I figured there's gotta be a proper home for a dragon somewhere. You wanna... Of course I'll come with you. You know, you were right, Bonnie. Everything I know about this world, I got from the pages of a book. However, if I'm to assist you with your house hunting, then I can explore the world for myself. It's not about you at all. You're funny, man. Mayhaps I'll pick up an architect's license as well. Nice. 
The next day, there was a headline that read, Dark Dragon Serves as Dark Lord's Minion. Naturally, Varney was less than ecstatic, to say the least. Uh, Letty? Yeah? It's getting rather late. We'll continue the story another time. Ah, good idea. Varney's home. I bet it's a really cool place, huh? I hope I find a home soon, too. Hunters, brave travelers who chase after monsters with a trusty Kate Sith by their side. Here we have a hunter named Huey who pursues a singular quarry, a creature he met through a chance encounter. Let's capture the red dragon! I had just finished a job that required me to steal a dragon's egg. We were camping out near the Zorata Mines, one of the many dwarven strongholds. That was when I first laid eyes on him. One thing is certain. This dragon shows no aggression, nor willingness to take flight. So it's a new species. It must be! That's amusing! Truthfully, Letty is just a coward who can't fly. I swear we'll have his hide this time, Albert. Sounds perfect! Well, have you picked up his trail yet? Someone spotted it up at the Temple of Fall. Is that so? I guess that means it's time to go dungeon diving. Mm, I can hardly wait. Actually, I don't believe that'll be necessary. Yeah? It looks like the dragon's already moved along. <laughs> but we paid for that info! The only way we can make up for him now is if we lose that stupid temple for all that it's worth. We'll make it back don't double. Don't sir. <laughs> Robbery is against the law. I'm sorry. Adventurers tend to forget about things like the law from time to time. Stealing eggs for a job doesn't count, by the way. <laughs> this doesn't bode well. He walked into the forest of the dead. What's wrong? Too much of a scaredy cat to go in. Yes. <laughs> Relax, dude. None of those stories about ghosts are actually true. But what do I do if they are true? Arrow. Dagger. You can't defend yourself from a ghost with these basic weapons? It's not like I know how to make stuff explode, or shoot lightning bolts from my eyeballs, or bring people back from the dead! I'm just a regular, everyday, normal guy! Hey, don't throw a hissy. We should be okay in broad daylight. Ghosts only come out at night. That may be so, Albert, but ghosts aren't the only thing I'm afraid of. Pathetic. This forest is dead. That has to be the result of poison gas pollution or something. You think so? I say we go around. Perfectly fine. There's a house here? And a big one, too! Are you sure a dragon would live somewhere like this? The map we got from those old ladies says this is Meow's definitely the place. Interesting. So it's a dragon you're looking for? We're not really supposed to do this, but what the heck? We could help you out. We would never disappoint a hunk like you. <laughs> a clear breach of client privacy. Let's go and see Meow. Very well. <clears throat> you good, dude? This situation feels wrong to me somehow. Ah, you kidding me? <sighs> If he were like this, I'd feel better about attacking him. But what if he's just enjoying dinner? How am I supposed to make peace with that? I could never barge into someone's house without their permission. Maybe it'd be different if it looked like some evil lamb, but it's so quaint. <laughs> Let's just pause for a bit. Okay. The Flame Dragon Lord's lair. Looks like a plain old house to me. Yeah, heroes! Now that's a lot of shiny armor. They must be after the dragon as well. Wonder where the loot is. I'm sure. They're, They're just waltzing right in the door. door. Now they're going to beat us to the punch. Huey, we'll get a bird's eye view up here. Let's see if they're still feeling brave. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but the Flame Dragon Lord ain't here right now. Flame Dragon Lord? 
Is that his real title? Our badass boss happens to be busy at the moment. Wanna know why? He's working on a diabolical plan to take over the world! What? How terrible! You told me about that! A surprising twist. With one puff of his fire breath, the boss can burn down an entire kingdom! Is that powerful? Soon he'll have the whole world under his mighty claw! We shouldn't simply take what they say at face value. Either way, it seems he's no longer here, so we might as well leave. In the meantime, let's get some fireproof gear! Perfect. The grind begins. Need materials? Place a hunter request with our guild today, and we'll gladly take care of any beast that- Our guild lady! Um, yes? Make up some posters of the flame dragonborn and hang them at every guild in the land. Um, okay. Who's that, though? Foul creature that will destroy the world. <gasps> and so, the legend of the flame dragon lord spread like wildfire. We'll lie and wait for him here and ambush him when he appears. A real theme of cat and mouse. Exactly. By the way, why'd you think this was the best place to keep tabbies on it? The name of the game is Luck. That's all you've got? You've been hitting the cat up again? Look, how about that? There he is. How was I supposed to know that? A dragon! They must be bandits. <gasps> the flame dragon lord is merciless! That's how Yui saw it. Um, should we go for it? What's the plan? I don't know. Those bandits already got his guard up, so it'd be foolish of us to ambush him now. We may have failed this time, but we're not giving up on him yet. Our chance will come. His head will be ours. Isn't that right, old friend? Hmm. You'd be up a tree without my help, buddy. Glad to lend a paw. As for the flame dragon lord, don't you think you took it a little bit too far that time, Diaria? I merely relegated them to ashes. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Those savages were demanding organs from people they only just met. I hardly think they were deserving of mercy. Well, when you put it that way... I was exercising some restraint. Literally how, though? Take a look over there. Mm. I spared the horse and car. It's magic! It appears the other party decided to leave on their own. That's a relief we didn't have to fight both. Other party? If they had attacked us from that angle, I'm afraid that I might have accidentally blown your head clean off your neck. Hey, think of the birdie children! I wonder what kind of stuff they were carrying in these. Judging by the exterior, it looks like most of these items were crafted in some other area. These are stolen goods, no doubt. Then I guess we should get them back to their rightful owners. What is it, Messi? Can you believe this? Because I can't! Uh, unless I'm crazy, there's a human girl in here! This dragon's a father of two! Shut up! And who are you talking to? What should we do, Diaria? of it, I'd say so. Then let's go into town and get the guards to help her out. I don't just think you were the kidnapper. You're right. I could use my magic to teleport her and the cargo back into the city. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. I'm sure someone will take her in. She's not a cat! Besides, how do we know she won't get kidnapped again? You may be right. Well, let's ask for her address. Wait, don't wake her yet! Is something wrong? Let me hide first. Why would you hide? If she wakes up and sees a dragon, she'll freak out. Right. Good thinking. Where am I? Insolent peasants, who are you and where have you taken me? <laughs>
That's an impressive title. You dare to mock my name? Actually, Letty wasn't the one who kidnapped you. I assume those charred corpses are probably the culprits. Or they were, I should say. As you can see, we soundly defeated them. That's when we chanced upon you and the stolen cargo. I see. And how can you prove that your story is true? Well, consider this. Letty is very unique for a dragon. He's sweet, gentle, and kind to a fault. Oh, stop it! Not to mention he's a cowardly weakling who can't fly or digest spicy food. Trust me, he isn't capable of kidnapping. It's true, but you didn't have to say it. All right. I suppose I shall take you at your word. Thank you. Judging by that pea-brained visage, I'm sure he's harmless. If you'd like to return home now, I would be happy to provide a teleport. Thank you, but no. I actually just ran away. Ran away? It's been a difficult journey, but I refuse to go back. Very well. Whoa, hold on a second. You're so young. It's not safe for you to run away from home like that. Your mom and dad must be worried about you. Silence, creep. Ah! They say that elven wisdom is greater than any book. May I ask for yours? What about? I need to find a suitable house where I can lay low for the time being. Some place where my pursuers will never come looking for me. Do you know such a dwelling? Quite possibly. What other features do you require in your dream home? Hmm, let me see here. What about me, Diaria? Since this is such an urgent request, I'll settle for essentials. It must be made entirely of glass, surrounded by tropical flora. We'll need a slide on the second floor and a sculpture of bathing goddesses in the center. Oh, and of course, a stage for my entertainment. That's the bath. Wait, that's just the bath? <laughs> it's quite basic, I know. I see, so we're looking for a discreet hiding spot that has a private bath attached. Perhaps? All I see is a cave. It may look modest from the outside, but this is actually a four-room residence. That is a surprise. No one would ever think to search for me inside a cave of all places. But... Why are you still tagging along? Uh, because Diari is helping me find a house, too, thank you very much. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What kind of a dragon goes house hunting? You need a safe place where you can hoard all of your treasures? Look, it's none of your business. Well, I suppose you can stay with me if you become my servant. <laughs> Not on your life! In that case, I'll bill the agency fees and property costs to you, Letty. Are you kidding me? Now then, where would you like to begin the tour? The bath, of course. I'll freshen up from the trip. Feel free to enjoy the bath now, miss. Huh? You would dare to call that licky faucet a bath? Better yet, it's a free-flowing cold mineral spring. These can be an excellent treatment for athlete's foot, rheumatism, and no pain. But I don't have any of those ailments, you dimwit! A proper bath should have sufficient water flow to fill up a bathtub. Not only that, but an extensive variety of luxurious oils, bath salt scrubs, and soups. You're really spoiled, huh? Quiet, Drummix. Ah! What's a Drummix? A dragon who's a Lummix, Drummix. More water. Will this be sufficient? You're kidding. The basin is ten meters deep, which makes it a very spacious tub. Surely this will more than serve your purposes. This is hardly what I had in mind, you idiot. That's a waterfall. A person can't live in that. The living space is hidden behind the waterfall. Did I say that you can speak? It also comes with a sauna. You can enjoy that and then dive right into the <laughs> gold basin. Wow! How difficult is it for you to find me a proper bath? I'm beginning to feel like you don't know what a bath is. Honestly. Uh... Be careful! Chamber. You want me to burn to death? Meanwhile, little Pip 
relaxes in an ice box. We've been dragged all over creation. Only to be cooked for dinner in a dragon stew pot. Would you stop pouting? That isn't what I'm doing. You said you wanted a bath, didn't you? I'm trying to do something nice here. Do I really have to bathe in that thing? We're on the road. We don't have many options. I'll leave the water here so you can make it hotter if you want. Hmm. You can't peek. Why would I do that? I will stay here in case you need me, though. <sighs> if you have something to ask me, dragon, then you might as well spit it out. Uh, okay. I guess if I can ask you one question, I'd like to know why you wanted to run away from home in the first place. That is none of your business. Maybe not. But I can listen if you want to tell me. My father dared to eat my dessert without my permission. That's all it took! Okay, so have you thought about forgiving him? No! That blithering idiot needs to suffer the consequences of what he's done. Guess everyone draws the line somewhere. Yeah, but it's really dangerous for girls to travel alone. I mean, you got kidnapped. I let my guard down, that's all! Well, if not for Diaria, it could have been much worse. Ugh, I know that! You don't have to tell me I'm in your debt! But I'll state it formally once and for all. Um, I'm grateful to you for saving me. You may be a bit of a halfwit, but you're a truly kind and gentle dragon. I'm happy you were the one who found me. One more time, please. No, I turn around! By the way, where did that elf go? I think he was going for a walk. Oh, look, he's right over there. Good. I say we make camp here for the night. Hmm? What's it? That's the Flame Dragon Lord! Is he there? Hold on, are you the Flame Dragon Lord who's plotting to take over the world? Don't believe the rumors. And look at that! He's got the princess with him as well! No! So, you were the one who abducted the princess, you evil creature! <laughs> and you're making her into stew? No, I'm not! Wait, you're a princess? No way! I told you my title! Okay, I admit I was tuning out. Fear not, princess! We'll save you! They're so persistent! These unbearable morons follow me everywhere I go! Princess! Wait! Oh, so that's why you're laying low. This dragon didn't kidnap me! I left home of my own free will! Uh. Kindly disappear from my sight, stalker! <laughs> Don't look at me in the back, pervert! Uh. Think before you act, numbskull! Uh. Not uh. That's probably overkill. You villain! Clearly, you've cast a brainwashing spell. You can fail your charms post haste! My what? Uh, go. Go away! You're not taking her! Uh, that's so brave. Prepare to die, Flame Dragon Lord. We've become stronger since our last encounter. I'd prefer to take your word for it. You'll pay for stealing our gear. Prepare to meet your maker, you foul beast! Between them and those highwaymen, we've had quite an unlucky streak, haven't we? Whoa, what did you do? Are they... It's just a simple spell. They should be more than capable of surviving it. All right, they're heroes. Heroes are tough. So, what will the great flame dragon lord do with me now? <coughs> Nothing, obviously. Also, I'd rather you didn't call me.
this. Oh, wow, it looks perfect. You seem to have slept well. Uh, indeed I did. I have been on the run for several days now. So I'm quite accustomed to camping out. Uh, mm. I'm not so sure I would refer to that as camping. This satchel is quite handy. And by the way, why has Letty been acting so worked up today? Is it an upset stomach, perhaps? Wait, I know! You lay eggs every morning, don't you? Practice your Lamar's breathing? Hey, I'm a boy! Actually, it's all because I asked him to make a decision regarding which property he'd like to view next. And he's having a hard time of it? Kinda, yeah. I've always let Diaria handle this stuff until now. Let's just leave it to chance. Come now, Drummix. You are Piavelt's father, are you not? And you can't even pick out a nice place to live? Can't you be a better role model for him? I mean, at the very least, you could try not to be such a complete and utter yes, garbage. Yes, that's true. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance, Red Dragon. I have come here on behalf of the NHIRS. Yeah. 
terribly awful stats as these. How in the world can you call yourself a dragon? Trust me, you're preaching to the choir, sister. I already knew that you were a pathetic fool in every way, of course, but now, to see it in writing. What's that? You'd like to look at it too, Piovelt? I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, your father is quite... Wow! He's so amazing and smart and wonderful, the stat card doesn't even do justice to all of his astounding talents. Just take it from me. You can fix that later. You lie to my son and I have to fix it? He's just so pure and innocent. I'm so sorry about the wait. I had to look for a particular form. Is something wrong? Oh, no. I'm fine. By the way, sir, since I have you in the office currently, I thought you might be interested in applying for a child allowance. Okay, what is it? A small sum of money that parents like you can receive to help with any child rearing expenses. You have two young children, do you not? Wait, two? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you've got it all wrong. The bird's mine, but... I must admit, I'm a bit jealous. She's wise, beautiful, and quite convincing at taking a human form. Pardon? It's kind of a complicated situation. Oh, I understand. You must be saving her for dinner, then. I'm not gonna eat her, dude! Just drop it! There. That should be the last of your forms. Someday, when you're a proud homeowner, do come back here to take care of your property taxes with us. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, do that. Ah, and while we're on the subject, you should also declare that enormous house you built a while back, Letty. Oh, I forgot that! Well, lucky you remembered, sir. I gave it away to somebody right after I built it, though. I see. But that shouldn't be a problem at all. It simply means it will have to account for a capital gains deduction. What's the capital... Deduction. I've got all the necessary contracts. Uh. Total cost after property and agency fees, plus building expenses. Ah, very good. Uh. Might I take a look at the form for the property transfer tax? That was paid before the sale contract was closed. Uh. Yes, but depreciation costs do not apply for a private residence, meaning... There's no property acquisition tax within range of the royal capital. But that would mean that the consumption tax would be covered by the other party. Uh. Well, these are the final numbers. Would you like to see? Oh. That's all right. We can have him sign later. Sounds reasonable. How pitiful. I didn't know you were that feeble. <coughs> Piavelt, what do you say we lend your dear father a hand? <coughs> Acquisition. Depreciation. Letty? Letty, wake up. They finished preparing your tax forms. Oh, good. Thanks a lot, Nell. Also, look at this. Our next destination. Huh? Leaving it to you would have taken an eternity. So I decided to let your son choose a home to tour. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, you two, this means so much to me! That was enough to bring you to tears. Some dragon. This is the first and only time that we're deciding in your place. Next time, you'll have to make your own choice. Okay. You know, I have a real good feeling about this one. Hey! This means pretty soon I won't have to check the box that says unhoused! Indeed! <laughs> so where is the next property? In the royal capital's old sewer system. I didn't realize you non-humans had your own royal capital. We don't. Mm -hmm. This is in the human royal capital. Actually, now it's extremely close to your previous home. <gasps> Unacceptable!
beloved princess was creeping through the sewers. No one would ever suspect that a princess and a dragon were just below their feet. There's no need for you to be nervous. Well, I am! How could you be so foolish and insensitive as to bring me down here? And you should have noticed my apprehension and refused to go. Sorry, I guess it must have been the way he presented the question. Shall we leave now, or would it be better to rest a bit first? <laughs> dragon choose to reside in a place like this anyway. Here we are. <gasps> wow. It actually looks kind of homey. In fairness, this property is already a few centuries old, but it was built by dwarves, so it's sure to last for a long time. Just a moment. I know exactly where we are. Huh? Our kingdom has a dungeon just like this. It's designed for training heroes. You train heroes? That's correct. I feel so betrayed! Most human-non-human exchanges happen in dungeons, yes? I suppose that's true. There are plenty of monsters living here for heroes to spar with. Good point. I guess a lot of us do live in dungeons, don't we? I understand it now. Huh? Understand what? The kingdom commissioned this dungeon to be built by dwarves. Its intended purpose was to provide a place where heroes could level up and hone their skills. Then numerous non-humans were hired on as live-in employees. These workers were expected to play the part of enemies for the hero trainees to encounter in battle. That means, if you'd like to take up residence here, you need to become a public servant. There'd be an interview process, of course, but since you're a dragon, I imagine you'd have a sporting chance at it. Of course, who would disagree? Why not here? It's not bad. Oh, I don't know. I'm not really into fighting. But you'd be getting a home and a job all at once. Why don't we just take a look at the property, for starters? I mean, I'd like to, but what if we run into a group of heroes or something? Don't worry your head about that. The grounds are closed today. Ah, this really is a government facility. I've always dreamed about a dungeon-crawling adventure. Just leave everything to me. We're gonna tour it, not tear it apart, right? The dungeon well, somebody's enthusiastic. Hey, wait, she took Pip with her! This is a big place. Come on, clock's ticking! I say we go and explore the side routes first. You mean all of them? What for? The rare items and treasure boxes are always hidden off the beaten path. Everyone knows that, Drummox. It's news to me. Didn't your parents' house have any treasure boxes inside of it? Well, no. I mean, think about how silly that sounds. Why would you leave all your valuables in the middle of your hallway? Indeed, that does seem a little absurd. But you must have had a mimic or two lying around. No, I don't want those scary things in my house! Oh, fine, then what about containers that give you items when you break them? We store our stuff in drawers like normal! They're kidding, right? Everything I know is a lie. Remember, monsters' homes are always filled with priceless items and treasure chests. Well, watch out for mimics. Got it. I'd say the dungeons that Nell is imagining are probably the product of human superstition and stereotypes. Oh, I get it now. So this place is what humans think a dungeon is like, huh? Yes, precisely. <laughs> There's no need to be so disappointed, now. You can easily hire a mimic for your own house. Are you able to start tomorrow, by chance? Absolutely! Due to heroes and their insatiable greed, there's been a significant demand for in-home theft prevention recently. Do look at this brochure. Wow, seriously? When you find yourself a home, I'll give you one as a housewarming gift. Oh, thanks. I'm good. At any rate, let's continue with our tour by viewing the employee living quarters. Dungeon crawling? Ho! Uh, yeah! What's this weird music? All dungeons need background music. Wait, now it's different. What should we do now, honey? Oh, I'd rather not fight him. Whoopsie, we're sorry to bother you on your day off, sir. Mm. Have a good one. Oh, God. 
out of nowhere. Ah. Who would go to the trouble of making a dungeon this enormously huge? Your ancestors, apparently. Good work so far. Hey, um, Diaria? Could we just have one hint? Mm. Pretty please? No. What did you say? Nothing. Then how come I just heard a teeny tiny voice in my ear telling me to go straight? Was it a ghost? Uh, is it a sad attempt at a joke? It isn't funny. I believe what you're hearing is what's known as a whispered hint. It's dungeon magic that helps keep hero trainees on the intended path. With these, they're far less likely to wander around in the wrong direction for too long. But they're sometimes unhelpful. You're right. But hey, now we know we're on the right track. Sheesh, it could have at least told us that from the start. Wait,
Ancient Dragon Lord! We have you surrounded. If you value your life, you will surrender the castle at once and release my daughter to me unharmed. If you do not respond, we will take your silence as a declaration of war. You are a foul creature who consorts with darkness, and our kingdom shall never bow to you. You will rue the day that you foolishly chose to stand against our noble forces. How the heck did I get myself involved in this mess? You see, when you and Nell finally emerged from the labyrinth and made your way into the castle proper, you're in the palace now! You panicked and tried to run. This is bad! Let's jump out the window! Halt! What is your business here? Not you again! Then you ran into the heroes. Damn you, Flame Dragon Lord! How dare you attack the royal palace! So they pursued you. counterattack plan. Right. Wait up, now! What are you doing? Let me go! You should probably stay in the castle. I mean, since we're about to go and pick a fight with your dad. Don't you think I understand that? Huh? Your Majesty, the inner gates are sealed. Even so, I can't abandon my friends when they're in trouble. If I turn my back on you, I can never forgive myself. Shh. 
She said we were her friends. And she wants to help us. Okay, then. I'll help her, too. Now, the forces you see down below, they're the Royal Army's vanguard. Uh, yes, we knew that. Look closely at that room. This is a popular defensive layout known as a lion's den. Since the next gate is to the side, it's impossible for enemies to attack in a straight line. This also leaves them open to focused fire from the surrounding walls. Unfortunately, we don't have any bows and arrows, though. Great fire on them. I don't want to burn my tongue. That's all right. I've called for reinforcements. Really? The gnomes! We can melt them with these rocks until they bleed to death. Take aim and... Attack! The bowie rocks! Is it the dragon? No! Suppression fire is a rudimentary but effective warfare tactic. There are various small openings in the exterior. And winding passages make it easy to attack from multiple vantage points. You can also use corners to ambush your foes. I don't care what your thought bubble says! I'm not gonna do that! What news? My king, the enemy's called in reinforcements, so we can't proceed any further. We don't have eyes on the dragon itself. Oh. Fine, then I'll infiltrate the castle via the secret passage. No, your majesty. We don't know who else may be lying in wait inside. Has anyone actually spotted him? Yay! Am I crazy or was that a dragon? Was it? The flame dragon roll went that I'm sorry! Uh, was that? It sure was. I saw a red dragon peek out of a doorway, but he ran away in fear. Why would he do that? Be mocking us! That cursed flame dragon lord will pay for this! Attila! Somebody must be talking about me. Probably laughing at what a tragic loser you are. If you recall, the plan was for you to ambush them at the trap door, not to run away in fear as soon as they laid eyes on you. Well, knowing my dear father, he's just about to withdraw and regroup. That's our chance to escape. Let's hold out for a little bit longer. <laughs> Still going? Stupid royal army, their loyalty is downright exhausting. And what's worse? We've almost made it through! <laughs> to teach you both a thing or two about the portcullis. Nothing faces this guy. That's the Aria. The portcullis can be utilized for not only defensive, but offensive maneuvers as well. Simply raise the lattice grating. Wait, why? Once the enemy enters... Now's our chance! Charge! Move to the inside grating and close it. Oh, no! We can't get through! The enemy will be trapped inside. Now the final touch. These openings are called murder holes. Just add boiling water. Why does it seem like you're making instant ramen here? Rocks, arrows, and hot oil are also effective. Or you can install trap doors that open up to pitfalls. Yikes! Oh no! They're using ladders to climb up! Ah! Ideally, we'd have archers ready to shoot them down, but I'm not sure what to do now. Flame Dragon Lord! Your Majesty, it's too dangerous. Return my daughter to me safely, and I promise you won't be harmed. However, if there's a single scratch upon her delicate skin, I shall flay your hide and drape it across the castle gates! Mark my words, beast. I don't need treasures. There's nothing in this life that I could ever value more than my daughter. Forget my belongings. Just give her to me! Hey, Nell, we'd better retreat inside now. Can you lead the way? Very well. But let's...
city. If we do that, they'll discover us. Diaria! Help me with something. Look at me. Are you injured? Um, no. That dragon mistreats you. Not at all. No amnesia? No, Father. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm so happy. You're safe. Please forgive me, my sweet girl. Hmm. Free cakes and merry events. Yes, darling. Yes, a lot. Extra whipped cream. Of course. It seems everything went as planned. Thanks for casting that spell on the door so the soldiers can't get in. And you lured the king into this room by using yourself as a decoy. That was very brave of you. I figured it wouldn't be too hard to get him to chase me since he was so mad and all. <laughs> to tell the truth, I just really wanted Nell to talk to her dad. I had a feeling they were ready to make up. You know, the day I got kicked out... I felt like I had been abandoned, but seeing Nell and her father... <laughs> it kind of made me wonder about my dad. <laughs> Maybe he forced me to leave home because he knew it would be good for me in the end. Or maybe he did want to kick me to the curb. I guess we'll never know. How insightful. If our journey together has taught you that much about life, well, then that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah. The dragon! Stay behind me now! Oh, Father, don't hurt him! No, I'll make quick work of you, fiend! Mother, you don't understand! Unhand me! I believe I understand now. I'm sorry. It seems my daughter has caused you gentlemen nothing but trouble. Please excuse her. Oh, not at all! I'm the one who should be sorry for getting her wrapped up in this whole mess. protected my daughter this whole time, yet I allowed myself to believe rumors about the flame dragon <laughs> What are you saying about me this time? I'm just glad you let me explain myself. The heroes always skip straight to the fight. Heroes are unique, aren't they? All that I can say is that every type of creature in this world, human or otherwise, has the potential for both good and evil among their ranks. By the way, were you looking to live and work in our dwarven built training facility? After all of this, Ruckus, I think I might end up going somewhere else. Then your quest continues. Uh, Let me go! I will join you! This Ruckus is your royal responsibility. Yet, I'm in trouble. So, um, I was wondering how I can get out of here. Since your soldiers kind of want me dead. Open this door! We cannot pass! The Dragon Lord! I have just the thing. <gasps> That's right! It's fairy dust. Use it to fly away. That's not fair, Father. How dare you hide it from me when you know how badly I wanted to play with some? We will tie up the loose ends and have the mess cleaned up ourselves. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
So how do I use it? Here, it's very simple, actually. I sincerely apologize for all the trouble. Oh, no. Honestly, I still can't believe my daughter has been traveling with the Demon Lord himself. This may not make up for much, uh -huh. but I've made a list of all the maintenance that needs to be done to your home. That's kind of you. Move in a little closer, Letty. Close your eyes now, please. And this will make it so I can fly? Temporarily. It's a magical placebo that'll work if you believe strongly enough. Wait, does that mean it's all in my head? They say if you believe, your soul will be saved. I think that's different. But don't uh, open your eyes yet. Oh, sorry. joke about that we should probably be on our way letty oh okay let's see all i have to do is believe <sighs> i'm not sure if i'm even doing it right inside the royal castle and the grueling battle that followed the flame dragon lord vanished as suddenly as he'd appeared his heart stolen by the princess's beauty he made a solemn vow never to attack the city that his sweetheart cherished so dearly and so according to one account at least that is the story of the mighty flame dragon lord